Getting local tonight, a 26-year-old woman is in custody after police say she kidnapped another woman, drove away from a traffic stop, crashed her pickup, and was later found hiding in a barrel. Adrian Oglesby shows us how authorities say it all unfolded. A 28-year-old woman called from a lot gas station bathroom, saying she had just escaped a kidnapping. So when the officer got there, they talked to her um, and found out that apparently um, she had been at a home uh, staying with a friend. Um, the driver of this pickup was also staying there, and at um, probably about 12:30 in the evening, she had told her, "Come on, you're going with me." Forced her to go out to the pickup, and they took off from the house. Um, they eventually ended up um, in another county, um, picking up a relative of the driver, and then came back to Mandan. Um, and went to a host in Mandan where she was forced to go into the host and not allowed to leave the host. Flayton says a short time later, the 28 year old woman was again forced to leave and assist the suspect, 26 year old Tyann Brave Bull, in taking the relative that they picked up to another house in that same county. At various times, she wanted to leave, but the driver of the vehicle had a knife that she was threatening her with and told her that she could not leave. In the report, it states that Brave Bull told the woman while a knife was held to her that if she she tried to leave, the woman would be shown what would happen. She was quite terrified. Um, you know, had no idea what was going to happen to her, to her throughout the night. Flayton says when they pulled in to get gas, the woman bolted from the vehicle and ran inside to call for help. Mandan police say that on the initial call, the woman gave them a description of the Dakota Dodge Brave Bull was driving. It was here on the 500 block of East Main Street. They turned on their lights and attempted to pull her over for a normal traffic stop, but she decided to flee, going westbound on Main Street. Police say the vehicle struck a stop sign and left the roadway. I think she was going too fast and couldn't make a curve or onto, onto a different street, and uh, so she hit the sign and then went down um, a hill. Flayton says after this, Brave Bull took a run for it, fled on foot, and their canine found her. Uh, Cooper found her. <laughs> He's pretty excited about it. <laughs> Police say he located her hiding in a barrel in the yard of a home. Officers then took Brave Bull into custody. Brave Bull's bond has been set at $10,000. Reporting for KX News, I'm Adrian Oglesby. Brave Bull is facing 10 charges, including robbery, a Class B felony, and terrorizing and felonious restraint, both Class Cs. She made her initial appearance this afternoon at the Morton County Courthouse.